working full time but barely getting by. That's the harsh reality for many people all around the world, including here in the world's largest economy, the United States. Millions of Americans are trying to make a living. They're trying to do so while earning the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. In a moment, we'll bring you the results of an exclusive CCTV America survey of what Americans think that minimum wage should be. But first, CCTV Sean Calebs heads to the U.S. city of Memphis, where the issue is influencing Tuesday's national elections. No state in the nation has more people working below the federal minimum wage than Tennessee. There was a vocal group in the city of Memphis trying to change that as November's midterm elections approach. Think of Memphis and perhaps the opulence of Graceland comes to mind. The home of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. One look around the city shows Memphis is anything but regal. It's actually one of the poorest cities in the United States. You just want to go for a night chill. 23 year old Larika Harris works the overnight shift at a McDonald's. And I don't want to be on food stamps and Medicaid all my life. I don't want to be that statistic. An African American only depends on the government. No, I don't want to, but when I make like $7.25 an hour and one check is barely the rent. Where's the light bill coming from? Indeed, where will the money for the electric bill come from? Or food and clothes for her two children? Harris calls her living condition terrible. A rundown apartment in the projects. Crime and other woes are right outside her door. Harris is among those fighting for a minimum wage of $15 an hour. Money, she says, would change her life. It will change it to a point that I can get out of there, away from out of here. <laughs> I mean, I can get a better place to stay. I just want to be able for them to have birthday parties and people come over and not scared if they're going to get shot or not just for going to a birthday party. Drive around the city. There are some 900 fast food restaurants paying meager wages to some 20,000 people. This is legendary Beale Street, the heart of the entertainment district with its legions of service workers. Tennessee is one of only five states without a minimum wage, but more than 7% of its citizens make at or below the federal minimum requirement of $7.25 an hour. They're kind of invisible, the working poor, they're an invisible people. Sheena Foster is committed to creating a minimum wage in Tennessee of $15 an hour. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Earlier in the year, there were several protests. But when state lawmakers had a chance to vote for a minimum wage $1 above the national mandate, it was rejected. An unfair burden to small businesses, many contend. So how can she win? I've heard that it's ludicrous, but you know what? Uh, I think it's a good ask. It's, it's, uh, you have to, I've always been told if you want something, you have to ask for it. And if you don't get it, then you have to demand it. America deserves a raise. President Obama says he wants the national minimum wage to be $10.10 an hour within two years. But Republicans are fighting him. Five states will vote whether to raise the minimum wage. With the gap widening between the haves and the have-nots, Foster expects voters will be heard. And hopefully we'll get some people um, elected into office that at some point will, who will share the vision of a better Memphis and, and share the vision of, uh, of people not, not scraping the crumbs off of the floor just so that they can eat. And perhaps a better life for people like Larika Harris and her two children. Mm -hmm.